Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how you can connect to Access Database from Tableau Public Interface. So here I am within the Tableau Public software and on the left hand side you can see this option of Access which allows us to connect to Access Database. So if I click over here it will open up a window to us which is asking for the file name or the database file name from which we want to connect. So for that let's go into the browse and here I have one of the sample database from the access. So I will click on this and click open. So I have now given the file name or the database file name which I want to open. If it has any password then you can give it a database password here. If it has a workgroup security then you can give the relevant information of what is a workgroup file that relevant username and the password. If there is nothing like in this my case, I have the database file here in the system itself, uh, local system itself, then I just no need to do any of this thing and simply go ahead and click OK. So once I click OK, it is doing the, uh, it has done that background processing and all of my tables are now in front of my uh, here, uh, which I can use to import it into Tableau Public. So I will go ahead and select any of this table. So for example, the customer table, I can simply drag it into this blank space and then all of this relevant information are displayed down below here related to the customer. So if this is just the case, then I can simply uh, go ahead and start doing my visualization on the customer information. But if I want to do any kind of join or anything, then I need to drag in another table through on which I want to make a join with customers table. So for example, I am interested in knowing who are all those customers that have given the orders. So for that, let's uh, pull the order table here on the interface or the bank interface. And here it has by default given the inner join. As you can see, the, the common area is filled by the blue color. So if you want to change it you need to click on this icon and then you can see which one is highlighted that means inner join is being performed by the by the tablet interface by default if you want a left join so something like you want all the customers irrespective of whether they have given the orders or not then you can say left and here as you can see from inner join the total number of rows is 59 but as soon as you will do the left join then your rows are now changed to 207 because now it is taking all the customer information irrespective whether they have given the orders or not on the other hand if you want only those in customers information which has given the order then you can get, take the right join so right join in this case is similar to the inner join which is which was also producing the 59 rows so once you are done with this information uh, you can you can simply close this but before that i want to just show you some information about how it performs a join so in this case by default it has taken the id column here which is nothing but the customer id because you are in customer table and from the orders table it has chosen the customer id so in this case it has done do it has done this thing by default but if it is not in your case then you need to go in and manually do the selection by identifying whether it is a customer id or an order id on which you want to create a join if you have any other condition uh, on which you want to make a join then you can come to this next row and make a relevant join between your two tables if you have uh, other tables on which you want to create a join then you need to again simply drag it from the left panel to this blank space and and Tableau will automatically ask uh, for the kind of join you want to create. So once you are done with all of this thing then you can simply go into your sheet here in the sheet 1 and both of these tables will be shown over here on the left panel where you have the dimensions. So customer dimension is present here in the customer heading and order dimensions are present here in the orders dimension. So that's how you can basically 
take the access data into the Tableau system and then perform joins and then after that you can perform your data visualization and reporting or dashboarding. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.